Okay, now we are being told to loop an array. We've seen so far that you can retrieve items from an array by using the square, square brackets like that. So if I have my array and I put square bracket zero and I print that, you'll see that it's 232, but it's printing an item basically. It's printing the first one. You'll see it there. It's the first item in the array. Remember arrays are always starting at zero, the first position. Then you have Uh, the, like 1 for the second position, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, you know, and it's, it goes like that. It goes from 0 to whatever. Like you increase 1 by 1, those are the positions, and these are the values or the items of the array. So now they're saying that the code right now, it's printing the first item in the console. Instead of printing the, instead of doing that, print all the items in the array, like all of them. So if we already know that we can use any any number here to retrieve any position from the array, what happens if we want to retrieve all of them? Now we'll have to first find a way of increasing a number over time. And the only way that you have to increase a number over time is by using a loop. So let's say let i equal zero as long as i is less than let's say 20, you know, just randomly, I'm, I'm going to explain how to do the the total size of the array. I think I already did in the previous exercise, but it's never bad to say it again. And then I, I put this inside, and instead of putting a 0, I'll put an i, because I know that i will increase over time from 0 to 20. So if I do that, you'll see that it's printing from 232, it's going all the way to 34. And you'll find 34 here. Actually, 34 is the position number 19, or the 20, the 20th item, the position number 19, because it starts from zero, right? So, if I want to stop instead of a 20, if I want to stop at the length of the array, so my array dot length, and that will make it the entire array because it's gonna loop until the length minus one so it's until this value here remember the edge or the top of the array it's always length minus one but i don't have to put minus one because i'm not including the length itself uh, if i put an equal here i would have to say minus one here because then i'm looping until the last possible uh, number that it's the, the size of the array but if i remove this minus one I don't have to put the equal anymore. So let's test this. I'm going to test it with the check. And everything is amazing.